Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. For today's lunch I'm going to be cooking chickpeas with potatoes and hakefish. So let's begin. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is turn the stove on. I'll turn it up to number 7, medium high. And I'll just add about 4 tablespoons of olive oil and we'll wait for that to heat up and while that's heating up I'll show you what I got got some red peppers um, frozen I, I'll leave a link below in the description um, if you want to know how to freeze your own peppers I've got a bit of onion chopped about three garlic cloves chopped also I've got some hake fish here which I've cleaned up. I've cut the the spines off. I've got some potatoes here, a couple of potatoes um, cut into cubes. I've got them in water for now so they won't go brown. Some bay leaves, fish stuck, fish and vegetables and seafood stuck. Bit of fried tomato sauce. I've got my chickpeas here, which I'll rinse in a minute. Some salt, sweet paprika, and that's everything. So this when this is hot or sort of hot, we'll add in the um onion and the garlic. and the red pepper and we will soften all this up I'll turn it up slightly another notch and in the meantime while that's cooking I'm going to rinse these chickpeas out right so once this is nice and softened and slightly brownish, the onion. Um, what I'll do, I'm going to add some fried tomato sauce, about three, three tablespoons, and I'm going to add a bay leaf or two, little one or three. Another little one. And I'll add a table teaspoon of sweet paprika. What else? Um, I'm not going to add any salt yet because this has salt but I can't remember how much so let's add the potatoes in and we'll just move everything about and what we want to do next is cover everything up with this stock it's about half a litre enough to to cover everything up and what I'll do I've got my salt ready here what I'm going to do is um Turn this right up and bring it to the boil, and then I'll have a sauce chip. Right, so this is starting to boil. So what I'll do is turn this back down to number 7, medium high, and I'll just have a quick sauce chip. This is going to be boiling, it's going to burn my mouth off. Ah! 
and I'm going to add just a little bit of salt because it needs it. That um, fish seafood broth, it's not like the other ones that I normally buy, which don't really need any additional salt, you know. But this one definitely does. Let's have another go. Mmm, perfect. Okay, so we'll mix that about. And next, we're going to, I'm going to cover it all up. I'll leave a little gap there. And I'll leave it there to boil for 15 minutes, which should be enough to make the potatoes al dente. So I'll be back. Right, so it's been 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is um, a stab check. Yes, nice al dente. So what I'm going to do, um, let me see if I can do this. I'm going to get these bay leaves out. I don't need these anymore. They have served their purpose. And we don't want to eat them, do we? Did I put four in or three? I can't remember. I must have put three in then. Right. So I'm going to add the chickpeas in. And also, I'll, um, I'll chuck the fish in as well, like that. I want to cover this up slightly, you know, so that the juice gets on it. Like that. That's nice like that. So obviously it's cooled down. So I'll bring this to the boil quickly. And in the meantime, I'm going to throw these leaves away. And today I'm going to serve it on my favourite dish, typical from Bain, Spain. So this should start boiling very soon. I think it's once it starts boiling, I'm going to cover it up and turn the heat down to medium, medium high. Right, starting to boil now. So I'll cover this up fully and I'll turn the heat down to medium high and leave it there for five minutes. So I'll be back. Right, so then five minutes are up and this is ready. So let's turn the stove off and we'll just leave it there on the same turned off heat, covered up until it stops bubbling. Or if you're in a hurry, like I am today, so I'm hungry, just put it to one side and leave it there for five minutes. Then we'll serve it up for the thumbnail, of course. Well, so here's lunch ready. What do you think? There's more here in the pan, of course, in the pot. Um, nothing else. I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Also, share this recipe with your friends. I would really appreciate that. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.